Professor, Professor, can you give me some new problems to multiply? Oh, Piggy, you want to practice multiplication a little bit. Sure. How much is four times four? Professor, this time I want to use donuts to multiply. Yummy. Sure, Piggy. As you already know, the answer doesn't depend on what you use for multiplication. Let's take four multiplied by four. The first number is the number of donuts in each group. We have four donuts in each group. And the second number is the number of groups. We have four groups of four donuts. That's four plus four plus four plus four, which makes 16 donuts. So four times four is 16. Good work, Piggy. Hey, what are you doing here? We're multiplying. What is multiplying? Can I explain, Professor? Sure, Piggy. Go on. Kelly, look. Multiplication is something you do with numbers, like addition or subtraction. It's represented by the X symbol. Let's say we want to multiply 3 by 2. We'll do multiplication using candy. The first number is the number of items in each group. So let's pretend that we have three pieces of candy in each group. Piggy, where are the pieces of candy? I don't see any. Yes, Kelly, there isn't any candy. We just imagine the candy to help with multiplying. Oh, okay, I'll try. So, the first number is the number of pieces of candy in each group. And the second number is the number of groups. Oh, no! I can't think about multiplication problems when I am imagining candy. Is there any other way to do multiplication? I don't know any other way. I always multiply using sweets. Piggy, let me suggest a little different approach for multiplication. One that doesn't require imagining anything. Maybe Kelly will like this way better. I'd like to know about it too, Professor. Look, multiplication is just repeating addition and nothing more. Let's take a problem, like 3 times 4. The first number is the number we should add, and the second number is the number of times we should add the first number. In this example, the first number is 3. So, we'll add 3, and the second number is 4. That means we'll add 3 four times. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 makes 12. That means 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Let's take one more example. 5 multiplied by 3. The first number is 5, so we'll add 5. The second number is 3, so we'll need to add 5 three times. Then. That is 5 plus 5 plus 5, which makes 15. The answer is 15. I prefer the other way with imagining sweets, Professor. Using just numbers looks a little bit boring. And I prefer this way because it doesn't make me think about candy. Oh, you can use any approach you like. It doesn't matter. The answer is the same. Let's try to solve another problem to make sure. How about 2 times 4? Piggy, let's start with you. I want to count using cake. The first number is the number of pieces of cake in each group. There are two pieces of cake in each group. The second number is the number of groups. There are four groups of two pieces of cake. And that's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus two pieces of cake in all, so two times four is eight. Great, Piggy. Kelly, now it's your turn. Two multiplied by four. The first number is the number we will be adding. The second number is the number of times we will add it. So, we need to add two four times. That's two plus two plus two plus two. 
Let me see. Four, six, eight. So two times four is eight. See, both of you got the same answer. You can think of multiplication as groups of objects, or just extended addition. It doesn't matter which approach you use. Now let's take a break and play with our friend. It looks like he's a little bit bored. Yo! Thanks for watching. If you'd like to practice what you just learned, come do some multiplication exercises with us using our training app. Click the link in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this adventure and want to see new videos, like and subscribe. And please let us know what you think in the comments.